everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So I wasn't anticipating filming this today, but my Petty Boar box for December came in the mail. It actually got here relatively quickly. Normally it gets stuck somewhere and takes like a really long time to actually make it to me. I don't know if they're like expediting mail because of the holidays, but it made it and I had a few minutes so I thought I would film my December Petty Boar unboxing. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So in this one's box we got a cute card with a bunny on it that says season's greetings. And the box this month is really nice. We got uh, five different products in this box. They had recently raised the price to $18 instead of $15 for the Petty Boar boxes. And I feel like this one really was an increase in value compared to the previous month's boxes, just because we did get five items in it. So the first time I'm going to start off with is the Juice Beauty um, Natural Mascara because I don't have any mascara on and I have a rather intense eye look. So I'd like to go ahead and apply this. Though I have heard um, several people talk about this mascara and say it is a wet formula. So we might not be able to tell much about it on this first application. We may have to wait for it to dry, the formula to dry out a little bit so I can give you an update on how I like it in my January Petty Boar unboxing. This is a like sample size of the mascara. It's valued at uh, $10 and it's called the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Ultra Natural Mascara. And let's take a look at the wand. So, so the wand is just your, um, it's a bristle wand, but it does, I don't know if you can tell that easily, but it does have a bit of a spiral to it. It's not, the bristles are kind of wrapping around in like a spiral rather than just being straight along the mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and let's see what it looks like. So here it is applied on my right eye and I don't have any mascara on my left eye so you can see the comparison. I actually didn't find this mascara to be very wet. I thought it was a drier formula but it didn't clump on me which I liked. Um, It's not as impressive to me as my root mascara like that is kind of my gold standard for like a very dramatic mascara it's not quite as lengthening as the well people expressionist mascara compared to those two it kind of falls in between and is not really either one like i said mascara is something that kind of you have to see how the formula changes with time so i'll have to see how it behaves throughout the month um i'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my other eye and i'll be right back i'll obviously have to see if this flakes or smudges because that's always something that's a concern for me with mascara that typically is where I run into problems with mascara so I will have to let you know about that. So the next product I'm going to apply so I look a little bit less crazy is this True Moringa Lip Whip in Truth and it is this really pretty fuchsia color. And this is valued at $16 and actually it kind of matches my nail polish. Um, it's about the same color as that. This is a lip balm and it says it's supposed to be really um, hydrating and help repair dry lips, which um, I really do need right now because I don't know about you, but this cold weather in winter has been taking a toll on my lips. So I'm curious to try this out. Though the one thing that concerns me is it is in a pot and it is it looks like a very pigmented color to be trying to apply with your fingers. I don't own a lip brush. like never have particularly needed one but looking at this product i feel like having a lip brush would be helpful so we're gonna just go in with my finger though and hope for the best here oh it's actually okay so i put my finger into it and it looked very solid but it definitely is more liquidy than what it looked like just sitting in the pot so that's kind of interesting
This did give a really nice um, wash of color to my lips. I can see in my mirror that it is very kind of oily. I don't know if you can see that. It, I think you might because it is reflecting a lot of light, but um, that's my concern with it is it feels so slippery on my lips and especially with having this pigment in it, I feel like it's just going to walk and get everywhere. It does feel really nice. Like my lips were definitely a bit chapped before I put it on and this like does feel very like moisturizing, but I'm just concerned about it getting all over the place. So I will have to let you know about that too. I can say that it really doesn't have a scent to it. So um, it's not particularly like fruity or minty or anything like, or floral or anything like that. It just kind of is very neutral. The next product in this month's box is the Province Apothecary Full Brow Serum. And we have the travel size and this is valued at $16. It's this oil that comes in a dropper. And I did try this out last night. I did drop some of the oil onto my finger and then just rub it through my brows. It is a very kind of viscous oil. Like it's um, not runny. It is, I mean, obviously it is a little runny because it is a liquid, but it's like very viscous. The only way I'm gonna know how that works is just to keep using it and see if my brow is getting any fuller or not. I'm not really in love with the idea of the product. I'm very skeptical about whether or not it'll actually work. Um, I don't know. I just don't really think products like that will work. And also, here's the other thing is the directions tell you to Shake well, after cleansing, massage one to two drops of the serum into dampened eyebrows for 10 to 20 seconds and then wait five to 10 minutes before carrying on with your beauty routine. Use morning and night for best results. First of all, I don't want to like wash my face, then put on this thing and then have to wait for five to 10 minutes. Like what am I going to do? I don't really have a lot of free time in the morning or at night to wait five to 10 minutes before carrying on with my routine. Also, I can tell just from the consistency of that oil that if you put that in your brows in the morning and then try and put any brow product on on top of that, it's not going to stick because it's so oily. It's not, your brow product is just gonna slide right off. So I only tend to use this at night. I will not be using it in the morning for that reason because I do like to use a brow pencil and I'm a chemist. I know that if I put something that oily on, anything else is just going to slide right off of it. Another product we got was the Ursa Major Golden Hour, and this is also a sample. Um, this was worth $6, and it is a moisturizer. Um, it's a kind of thick moisturizer. And when I got this and I looked at this, this reminded me of the Graydon Skincare Putty. Uh, I've, I've been having a love affair with Graydon skincare in general and Reagan from Indie Boo, she had gotten some Graydon skincare samples and she wasn't intending to use them so she passed them on to me and one of the samples that uh, she sent along was their putty and I had been using the putty to moisturize my face and as soon as I scooped some of this out with my finger it felt very similar in consistency to the putty. I did use this on my face last night. Um, my skin has been like freaking out and really dry and really just kind of dry and chapped and angry at me. I'd been sick uh, last week and while I was sick, I wasn't really, I was really sick. I know I've been talking about, but like I was in bed with a hundred degree fever for 24 hours. Like I don't get that sick. If you guys have been watching me for a while, I like have never really complained about being sick before because I just don't get sick like that. And it just knocked me out. And I was like just dying in bed. And so I wasn't like washing my face or doing my skincare. And I think because of that, my face kind of freaked out a lot and it got really dry. So I've been having to use a ton of moisturizers on my face. And I did use this on my face last night and it, I woke up, my face felt very hydrated. Everything felt really nice. It didn't break me out. Like I wasn't covered in bumps all over my face. So. I do think it'll be nice, but I think it's very similar to the Graydon Skincare Putty. And I don't remember the price of the putty off of the top of my head, but I believe it is more affordable than the full size of this, which is $48. I am going to be traveling soon, so I might be taking this along with me because it is in a nice, convenient, smaller size, perfect for traveling. And the final product in this month's box is the Audacity Synergy Immediate Skin Perfecting Beauty Mask. And 
I have not yet used this mask, obviously. Um, we just got one of them. You do have to mix it with water, so it is a powder. It does seem like, so, you know, I gotta just do that. It seems nice, and I've heard really nice things about Audacity. It is a higher end skincare line. And this is the number four one. So this should this should contain probiotics and vitamin C and is supposed to firm. So um, I didn't particularly need a firming mask, I don't think, but I like the idea of a mask having probiotics and vitamin C. So I will let you know in my January Pettibore unboxing how this goes. The total value of this box is $54, which is incredible considering I only paid $18 for it. So the value of this box is three times what I paid which is pretty great. So this box definitely was a good box, I think. I'm, you know, obviously gonna have to test out the mascara and the lip product and see how those wear. But in terms of being a good value, this one definitely was. So now I'm going to do a quick review of the November Petty Word box. One of the products we got in that box was the Lily Lolo Makeup Mist. And I don't like it. I do not like this at all. If you have been thinking about trying it, just don't. The sprayer on this is so bad that it makes it completely unusable because if you spray this on after doing your makeup, you are going to mess up your makeup. I've heard other people complaining about the mister on this too, so it wasn't just me. I didn't just get a bad mister. Like I've heard many YouTubers, many people on Instagram complain about the mister on this. It is not worth it. And I could, yes, I could decant this into another container and then get another sprayer. But then I have to actually get another container with a sprayer. So right now I don't have anything to use this with. And I've been really liking the Osea um, Sea Minerals Mist. I got the full size of that from Credo Beauty. And I love that. It works really well as a toner. It also works to set your makeup because it contains glycerin. I just like that a lot more than this. And after I spend a whole bunch of time putting on my makeup, I don't want my final step to potentially disrupt all my makeup. So. I don't like this at all. I guess uh, Petty Boys have been in a lip balm kind of mood lately because uh, we also got the Meta Coconut Lip Balm and I have been liking this. I use this every single night. I always apply a lip balm at night before I go to bed and then sometimes I will apply it immediately in the morning because I don't know, somehow my lip balm always gets off my lips during the night. I don't know. Uh, it's probably on my pillow. The only thing I have to say negatively about this is that you do have to reach in with your finger and I prefer a stick lip balm. I just think it's easier to use just to apply. But this does work really well and I love the scent of this. Like this coconutty scent. Seriously, one of my favorite scents. I have not yet used the Juice Beauty um, Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser. I am going to be traveling like in just a couple days and so I will probably be taking this with me to travel. Um, I'm excited to try it. Well, I'm excited and nervous. My skin has been not, knock on wood. Well, knock on my dresser back here. But um, it has not been breaking out recently. I don't know what I did. I have no idea what I did. All of a sudden my skin just was like very not breaking out. And I'm like terrified to try a new cleanser because I have no idea what it's going to do. But I don't have the greatest skincare um, super sensitive foaming face wash in a travel size. So I have to use something that is a travel size. So I think it'll have to be this, but hopefully my skin likes it. So I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know if my skin uh, is happy or unhappy with this. The last product we got was the, I lost the packaging for this, but this is the My Daughter's Fragrance um, perfume sample in my wild. I have been wearing this throughout the month and it is a very strong scent. That is my one kind of concern with it is I, it is definitely a strong perfume. It does wear well throughout the day. It meshes well with my body chemistry, but I've kind of reached a point where I'm not that into super strong fragrances. Like I, I have this one back here. This is from the Providence Perfume Company. It, um, they are a um, perfume shop. They are sold on Beauty Habit, I believe. This is their perfume in Pro Vanilla. All their fragrances use only botanical scents, so it's all distilled um, essential oils. And I really like their perfumes. And using the one from my daughter reminded me that I definitely prefer these perfumes because they do have a scent and they're a really lovely scent, but they're not overpowering. And I feel like the one from my daughter 
is a little strong. I think they may use some synthetic fragrance ingredients, which I think is what's making it so strong, but I've kind of reached a point where I'm not sure I really like that. And I prefer kind of lighter scents, ones that are just not as intense. So it's a lovely scent and it wears really well throughout the day, but in the grand scheme of things, it is not my favorite. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I'm at Naturally Beautiful Girl. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.